Today I'm going to be talking about Glass Home. And Glass Home is a home automation integration system. It integrates various back-end systems like Crestron, Z-Wave, and then those uh, custom TCP IP RESTful interfaces. So basically all the devices have their own little um, interface they want you to use, and there isn't one that, just, that works with all of them. So that's what I'm here. I've written a back-end that integrates these various technologies. So now I'm using Glass as a front-end to communicate with the back-end to change all this stuff up. Now, if you've seen my other videos, then you can see some of the uh, stuff I've done in the past, like an HTML5 app that controls all the home automation integration system. All right, so let's start with a uh, demonstration. We're going to do some lights, we're going to do some uh, music, and we're going to do the thermostat, and then we're going to do uh, the security camera, and then we're going to do a scene. And basically a scene wraps all this stuff up into one command and sends it all down. So we said something like bedtime is shut off all the lights in the house and, um, and turn the night lights on, which is basically dimming the hallway lights. All right, so let's start off with the, uh, the library. I'm pretty much going to stay in the library today. I don't want to wake up my daughter, so uh, <laughs> we're going to stick with that. So let's start with the lights in the library. I'm going to um, have the app running on the Google Glass. Now the deal is you can't see Google Glass, so I'm going to have to show you over here. Uh, this is a mirror of what I'm seeing. So as you see, it's a really a, it's a basic app that uh, is more of a, a prototype app of what I'm working on. And again, this uh, this project will be open source. All right. Library lights off. So here in a second the lights will shut off. And I'm gonna turn those guys back on because I don't think we're gonna get a good video with lights off. Library. Library lights on. There we go. Alright, they're back on. Alright, so you know the lights are nice, you know, we have the lights up in all the rooms, but also we have the home uh whole home audio. So let's start with the uh uh, some music. Now, you can set the sources that you're playing through your audio system, like you can set Pandora, you can have a Zune hooked up, or various other audio sources you want to use. Right now I have Pandora hooked up, so let's uh, set the source. Library, Pandora. Alright, now we have to turn Pandora on. Pandora, play. All right, I'm going to turn Pandora off. Oh, let's skip the next song. Pandora, skip. And there's the next song on. All right, let's turn the audio system off. Pandora, pause. Okay, good deal. All right, so let's uh, quickly look at some other stuff. How about the security system? Okay, we have various um, cameras mounted throughout the house, mainly outside, but we do have one in the library specifically for this demo. All right, <coughs> library security camera. All right, <laughs> there's us. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not quite dressed, uh, getting ready for bed, let's just put it like that. Alright, and when I said that, the actual security camera came up on the, um, on the Google Glass. Now there are some issues with the security cameras, it looks like currently uh, Google Glass doesn't have JavaScript enabled, so you have to manually refresh the image, but I'm sure all that stuff's going to go away when they release the SDK. Alright, so we got the security camera, we did the lights. Uh, well, let's. what else do we have? The thermostat. Okay. So, so now I heard the thermostat go off. Let's walk over to the thermostat and see what it reads. Chandelier on. Do I get any light? Sometimes there's a little delay. Oops, sorry. Okay. So can you see the thermostat? 
but that's the actual temperature. All right. So let's say I'm too cold. A second, and it bumps it up. I'm too hot. There it is. So we have various degrees of how hot and how cold you are. So if you're too cold or too hot or you're just hot or you're cold, it'll bump down based on how... <clears throat> you know that chandelier never came on. I'm going to try that again. Chandelier lights on. I didn't say lights. I just said chandelier on. Yeah, that's where I screwed up earlier. All right, so now that we have all this stuff together, you saw the, the lights come on and off. We did the thermostat. We did the audio systems. We actually did a little um, a little Pandora controlling. All right, so now we have scenes left. Now, scenes control everything at one time. So we have, we have three scenes right now. One is I'm returning home, which basically turns on all the lights outside and the kitchen lights. So when you come home, you can see what's going on. We also have one called bedtime and nap time. Bedtime turns off all the lights, and it leaves the hallway lights on dim. And then we have nap time, which just turns all the lights off, period. All right, so uh, let's do bedtime, because that's going to dim the, the hallway lights. Bedtime. Starting seeing bedtime, which obviously you can't see. So now here in a second, it's going to turn off all the lights in the house. It's going to dim. Looks like they've already started dimming. And sometimes the scenes take a second. So as soon as that's out, let's go back to the library. Library lights on. There we go. All right, so that concludes a really quick demonstration of Glass Home. Again, this is an open source uh, project I'm going to be working on. Uh, Glass is still in its, its beta phase, its very initial release. And so is the software. So we have lots of, lots of things to improve. And uh, so if you want to join in on the project, you know, just uh, contact me. It's most likely going to be at github slash Nick Tullis. And then you, from there, you can find the actual software to download. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.